Guys, this made me smile. I haven't reacted to Moist Critical in a while. So let's check out this video, guys. By the way, he got a vending machine. He got a vending machine for his, uh, like, sponsor here, bro. I've never seen a vending machine in a uh, content creator's background, so he gets points for that. His room did change a little. So, oh, he's got, like, a silver play button for, like, a second channel. Okay, okay, this guy's... This guy's moving up. I mean, he's, like, one of the biggest YouTubers. It makes sense, but... Um... Still has... Yeah, yeah, still has a God Slap thing. I'm not sure exactly. Is that his anime show? I don't remember exactly. But let's check it out. What you're thinking? Good heavens, Charles is looking taller than usual today. And thank you for noticing. I don't want to jinx it, but I do think I'm finally coming... Does he think he looks taller today? I mean, he's in his chair. I can't really tell. He's not like, he doesn't have like a stand-up desk or anything. Coming up on my growth spurt I was promised over a decade ago. But there's a couple things I want to talk about today. Some astute- I, I was also promised a growth spurt. They're considering giving me pills to, to get me to grow more, man. And it didn't work out. I didn't get them. Observers amongst you may have noticed I've done a little redecorating to my exquisite dojo here. And I'd like to go into detail to explain everything, but before doing that, I've got to ask you a question. What separates a weak man from a strong man? What's the difference? Is it the size of his muscles? The strength of his jawline? The brightness of his big toothy smile? How many grocery bags he can carry in one trip? Probably all of the above, right guys? No, friends. Those are all far too superficial. The strength of a man is determined by the quality of his energy drink. And I promise, there is no energy formula better than Gamersups. It is the top tier, optimal energy drink. Which is why I now have this Gamersups claw machine behind me. He's got an advertisement now. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, because I am a strong man. Yeah, right now you can use code MOIST at GamerSups.gg to get a discount on products, or click the link in the description of this video. Guys, I have never seen an advertisement in a MOIST Critical video until today, guys. Ever. And you can get free samples, no shipping, charge, nothing, no credit card, just completely free samples to give it a try. But I'll stop. Is that right? Guys, do you believe this? It might be true, it might not. But yeah, guys, I... When I'm gonna say paid him, bro. 5,000, 10,000, maybe 100,000, six figures, guys. This guy gets mil. It's a guarantee he's gonna get a million views plus on this video. It already has a million views in like 10 hours. He's they must be paying big for him to actually accept a sponsor. Getting ahead of myself. The claw machine does look amazing. I do have big plans for that puppy, but let's address the elephant in my ass first. I was with G Fuel. Whoa, whoa. Did he just say it like that? And... For a long time, many years, since the Stone Ages, since before we discovered fire, I was out there preaching about G Fuel, even had my own custom flavor with them, so why did I switch? Well, I initially started with them because so many- And G Fuel is sponsoring everybody. Now, now it's like this- uh, In business, there's like one or two major companies, and then there's like smaller companies on the lower levels, but one or two major, like, you know, Intel, AMD, guys. That's usually how it goes. Like Microsoft and Apple, I think. Or Google and Apple. They're, they're just telling, like... They're conglomerates at this point. But, but you, you know what I mean with Intel and AMD, right, guys? There's not many competitors for them. My friends were with them and recommended them highly, saying that they were a great company, great people with a great product. Until then, I hadn't even tried their flavors, but when I did, I liked it. We got to talking. I enjoyed everyone I communicated with at that company, and it seemed like they had a good direction they wanted to go. So I happily hopped on board, and for a little while, it was sunshine and rainbows. But then, about a year and a half into our partnership, things went tits up. The the Fire Nation swooped in, and everything changed. And by is this video of him gonna talk talk about his sponsorship, guys? Fire Nation, I mean NFT craze. I actually think this was the turning point for the company internally when they tried to do G Fuel NFTs, despite- Bro, everybody tried to do NFTs. I was not here for the whole NFT craze. I was actually... 
I was actually um down bad. Like I was a uh, I was homeless at the time, so I was not not into NFTs at the moment. So many of us voicing concerns, it wasn't really taken seriously. And then I can remember distinctly after that, everyone we had talked to at G Fuel and had been talking to for like a year and a half, they had all either been fired or left. And then over the last year or so that we were with G Fuel, everyone that came in to replace those people had also either been fired or left. So communication became non-existent. We couldn't talk to anyone with a pulse at that company. Just overall, it was a mess. So at the beginning of 2023, we decided not to renew our contract. Still very proud of the work we did with G Fuel. I don't really see that many companies even, or that many YouTubers get sponsored by G Fuel at all, guys. Last I knew it was like a Keemstar guy there, but GG subs be sponsoring everybody. On the flavor we made. I think this is a sponsor video, guys. But the company itself isn't one that we had a lot of faith in anymore. So after saddling up, hopping on a horse. Like a G Fuel kind of got like unsponsored. How long do you think he'll have this in his background, guys? Because that's like... The only really sponsored thing that's in his background right now. And going our separate ways from G Fuel, I wanted to see if there were better products out there because I really did enjoy having an energy drink before a workout, before basketball. I'd, I'd usually use them pretty much any time I was about to do anything outside of my house. So in the as I never had money to get the whole you know energy powder craze, but I had tried it once. Um, but never bought one, guys. They're they're pretty expensive. I was about to, I was gonna get the Keemstar cotton candy flavor, but it was like forty bucks. I ended up not getting it. Pursuit of perfection. We started trying a bunch of wacky things. Uh, we initially started with like the standard stuff, like Red Bull, which I'd never liked. Even when I used to drink it in mixed drinks, it was like the worst part of it. I'd rather just drink straight shots than mix it with Red Bull. There's just something about the taste I've never liked. Monster, for some reason, always makes me feel sick. Like it actually gives me a big tummy ache. Bang Energy just tastes like Jack Owak's sweat. Really, just all of the front shelf of Walmart energy drinks. I just wasn't liking at all. So I reached back out to a bunch of friends that I know do work with other energy drinks, and I tried a bunch of them. Most of my friends went from G Fuel to Gamer Subs, but I... It's like a whole sponsor video, man. I'd actually tried Gamer Subs like four years ago or something like that, and I just didn't really like their flavors that much. But after talking to my friends, they told me that they actually refined their formula and changed the... I got my room looking like a goddamn rave. Oh, whoa, 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 he has Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. I also do have a looking like a goddamn rave. No way, bro. Wait, they're not even graded with, like, um... The grading system, guys. They're just in their, or like, a random sleeve or, like, mounted on... Guys, I, usually they get them graded, right, guys? Rave right now. About to pop a molly and start shuffling. Whoa, 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 whoa. Aren't you scared about, like, the, the yellow dollar symbol? All these lights in here making it look like an arcade from the future, like what Disney Quest was supposed to be. Oh my gosh, RGB on that? That's a pretty high-tech, um... It keeps this room clean. I think it's just, like, a streaming room. But it keeps it clean. Not like XQC's room. And the Gamer Subs claw machine comes with this beautiful music that makes it feel like you're in a late 90s nightclub. Code moist well, up- it says Kois mode. I said Kois mode. Mo code moist on it, well, waifu cuffs, really? <laughs> there, of course. Trust me, you're gonna want to use code moist at gamersubs.gg. Like I mentioned, this puppy is fully functional. Let me go ahead and show you it in action. It's a little hard to... Guys, you think they should put these in stores or something? I don't think they'd have enough money to, like, go nationwide with it yet. But they have enough money to sponsor Moist Critical, which is quite a bit. Film and play it and catch everything, but... Doing my best. Yikes. Uh, that was... Yo, really cool sound effects though. It's a little hard to, you know, nail depth perception through the through the phone lens here, but that's where the prize will go. Now I did mention I had big plans for this thing, so let me He 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 unplugged it, guys. He's like, yo, I'm not gonna have that on while I'm filming. Explain what those are. Have you ever seen those Japanese arcades that allow you to play a claw machine long distance, like on your computer? 
yeah, we're going to try and set that up for this bad boy. So during streams, when I'm doing like just chatting or going over wacky stories, I can have that claw machine running the entire time and allow some of the viewers to actually play it in real time. I thought this would actually be a really fun thing to do for everyone who's a member, a YouTube member to my streams. Big thanks to everyone who is a member. I thought that I've been pushing YouTube members for months. This would be like a fun perk for it. For those that don't know, I've been streaming on YouTube over the last two weeks, and a YouTube. I'm also tr streaming on YouTube on this channel a little bit more often. YouTube member is the same thing as a Twitch sub, so I thought this could be like a fun little mini game that YouTube members can play. There won't be like a custom camera for a better view of it or anything, at least not yet. So you're just gonna have to. Alright, guys, that's a video. I'm not gonna watch the rest. Um. Slight, the sight of Char Charlie smiling is somehow both uncanny, uncanny and wholesome. Yeah, it usually re reports on like strange events. Seeing that ear to ear grin on Charlie's face makes me really happy. That claw machine is sick. Always love when we see different camera angles of Charlie's room. Dude, he totally has like his freaking. I did not know he had that. Like visible, man. But yeah, guys, that's our video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next one. Okay, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Right, guys, my wrist hurts. Like, I, I just, uh... I just wash it with warm water. Like, all this dead man mode, guys. I, but hey, we, we do get some good gains. Um, I'll see you guys next one, okay? Peace out. Much appreciated. Um, much else I can say here. You can watch the original video in the description. I do all my reactions live on Twitch later, guys.